seeking to strike back against the rebel confederacy for their betrayal of Death Watch. Puri Visla targeted Count Dooku for assassination. But the plot failed when their alliance with the Separatist Senator Lux Bonteri allowed the Jedi Padawan Ahsoka Tano to infiltrate their camp and expose their plans. After a brief battle and Ahsoka's escape, Death Watch relocated to the Swamp Moon Zanbar, where they returned to their primary mission of deposing the pacifist government of Mandalore. Despite suffering a series of setbacks, their fortunes finally turned upon finding the former Sith apprentice Darth Maul and his brother Savage Opress unconscious in an escape pod floating through space. Bonding over their shared enemies in the Jedi Order, Death Watch and the aspiring Sith Lords allied together and set about forming the Shadow Collective, a new galactic power supported by Mother Talzin of Dathomir, as well as numerous criminal syndicates like the Huts, Pikes, and Black Suns. Ready to enact the next part of their plan, Savage invaded Mandalore with a criminal army and took much of the capital city. Having turned away from their martial past, the pacifist government had few soldiers and could not hold back the enemy, leaving the people in a state of panic as the weakness of their leadership was exposed. Yet just as all seemed lost, Pre Visla and Death Watch emerged from exile to fight for Mandalore, defeating the invaders, arresting their leadership, and liberating the planet. Becoming heroes to the people, Pri Visla arrested Duchess Satine, took control of the government as Mandalore, and restored their allegiance to the warrior creed. When Maul pointed out that this world would serve as a base for the Shadow Collective to further expand their influence, Pri Visla betrayed their alliance and had him arrested. Seeking only to rule Mandalore and restore their ancient traditions, Pri Visla and Death Watch kept their greatest enemies imprisoned while they consolidated power and prepared for the Republic's response to the coup. Yet they badly miscalculated as the dark side powers of Maul and Savage allowed them to easily break free and defeat the guards, even recruiting another prisoner, former Prime Minister Almec, to join their side so he might be restored to his position in the government. Rampaging his way through the building, Maul burst into the throne room and challenged Pre Visla to a duel for leadership in keeping with the traditions of the Mandalorian Creed. Understanding this was the way of his people and that only the strongest must rule, Pre Visla accepted and put up a valiant struggle but in the end lost the Darksaber and was beheaded by the former Sith Lord. Witnessing Maul's victory, some Mandalorians knelt to accept him as ruler, but Bo-Katan refused as he was a non-Mandalorian and so fled with her followers to form a resistance movement, starting yet another civil war. Seeking revenge against his old rival Obi-Wan Kenobi, who was the former romantic partner of Duchess Satine, Maul allowed her to send out a call for aid and as expected the Jedi leapt into action. First he tried to persuade the council to intervene, yet they explained that because Satine declared Mandalore a neutral power and they were not under attack by separatists, the senate was unlikely to authorize aid. Refusing to abandon Satine, Obi-Wan continued on his own, journeying to Mandalore where he infiltrated the capital city but was ultimately captured, brought to the throne room, and forced to watch Maul kill the woman he loved. Satisfied with the pain he caused in his adversary, Maul spared Obi-Wan and had him imprisoned, only for Satine's sister Bo-Katan to arrive and help him escape as she continued her campaign of rebellion. Trained as a Baynite Sith, Darth Maul did his lineage proud by returning from near death to build an empire of his own, yet no amount of success could keep away the terrible truth that their order followed the rule of two, allowing for the existence of only one master and one apprentice. Though he respected everything Maul accomplished, Darth Sidious, master of the Sith Order, recognized his former apprentice was now a rival for power and so traveled to Mandalore where he faced off against the brother Sith Lords in personal combat. Emerging victorious, Sidious killed Savage and captured Maul, imprisoning and torturing him on Stygian Prime. Remembering the debt he owed Maul for freeing him from captivity, Prime Minister Almec remained loyal and sent super commandos to mount a rescue, after which they escaped to Zanbar. Yet this was all part of the Dark Lord's plan, as he wanted Maul to lure Mother Talzin from hiding so she could be destroyed. Reclaiming the Darksaber, Maul and Death Watch were soon attacked by General Grievous and the Separatists, forcing them to flee and regroup on Ord Mantell. Contacting Mother Talzin, she formulated a plan and sent Knight Brother reinforcements to help Maul capture Count Dooku and General Grievous, the two greatest servants of Darth Sidious. 
As they were hoping, the Separatists soon invaded Ord Mantell, allowing Maul to successfully capture both his targets before retreating to a Mandalorian outpost. Tracked by the Jedi and Republic, Death Watch was once again under attack, allowing Grievous to break free while Maul fled to Dothamir with Count Dooku. Once arrived, they spoke to Mother Talzin, who performed a ritual so she might assume control of Dooku's body. Yet as this occurred, they were attacked by Darth Sidious and General Grievous in a great lightsaber battle that ended with Mother Talzin sacrificing her life so Maul might escape. Eliminating his most powerful ally, Sidious no longer considered Maul a threat, and having lost most his men and resources, Maul took control of the Crimson Dawn Criminal Syndicate and re-established ties with the Pikes and Black Suns before returning to Mandalore, still under the rule of his ally Almec. Nearing the end of the Clone Wars, Maul saw a force vision in which Darth Sidious became ruler of the galaxy with Anakin Skywalker at his side. Desperate to stop his former master, but knowing he was far too powerful, Maul crafted a plan to lure Anakin Skywalker to Mandalore, hoping to eliminate the Dark Lord's greatest future servant. Although Maul succeeded in provoking his enemies to move against him, with Bo-Katan and her resistance joined by a clone army of the Republic, Anakin Skywalker did not arrive, instead replaced by his former apprentice Ahsoka Tano. Disappointed, the former Sith explained what he knew of Sidious and the fall of Anakin to the dark side, hoping she might join his crusade. But Ahsoka refused to believe it, resulting in a battle which ultimately left Maul defeated and captured. Elsewhere on the planet, the Mandalorian resistance emerged victorious against Death Watch, allowing Bo-Katan to rule as Mandalore. Yet as the Clone Wars came to an end, Maul's vision came true, and Darth Sidious activated the inhibitor chips within their soldiers to turn against and wipe out the Jedi through Order 66. Taking his place as Sith Apprentice, Anakin Skywalker became Darth Vader, joining Sidious as he converted the Republic into a galactic empire. Refusing to bow to this new leader, Bo-Katan was ousted from power and replaced by Maul's former servant, Gar Saxon, who pledged his loyalty to the Emperor. Once more, Bo-Katan fled into exile, where she remained for two decades until at last gathering new allies for yet another civil war. A special thanks to all those who contribute to Civilization X, like Soul Guide Medical, Sir Jeremiah Ironside of House Comsea, Sir Daren of House Ashford, and Knight of Iron and Ice, Fred Heartless. If you'd like to help the channel, please go to patreon.com slash civilizationx, where you can get early access to videos, vote on future content, and access the Patreon-only series, Heroes of Lore and Legend.